Now we have an exciting demo showcasing Supermicro's virtual desktop and virtual GPU solutions. But before that, we're joined here today by our product managers, Brandon Wong and Artie Lee, who will give us an introduction to Supermicro's VDI and vGPU offerings. Artie, can you tell us what is VDI and what are the capabilities of NVIDIA's vGPU offerings? So VDI uh, stands for Virtual Desktop Infrastructure. What it contains is a high-powered server and multiple VMs that people can remote into, uh, allowing people to use the server resources and also allowing for remote access, especially now since that the world is much more global and everything's sort of remote. And so uh, vGPU is NVIDIA's solution to the problem that CPU-only VMs have. Uh, it allows for the sharing of GPU resources um, to the VMs to allow for the graphics or hardware acceleration part of it to be offloaded onto uh, the GPU. Usually in VDI, there's just the server hypervisor and the VM and the thin clients that they log in with. With vGPU software, you can have the server NVIDIA supported GPU and be able to share that GPU resources to each VM, uh, giving their own GPU uh, for that hardware acceleration. Since each computer has a GPU of some sort, each VM should also have a GPU for that user experience. So why is that important? So a lot of applications in Windows 10 is getting more and more graphically intense, and it slows the VM down without having a GPU to offload that onto. This is especially true if you want to use the graphics accelerated software like CAD or um, design workloads. vGPU allows everyone to have a native workstation type of experience while remote and it gives high flexibility to dynamically allocate resources to the multiple VMs, allowing for the required power to be used for the different workloads. Uh, this allows for maximum utilization of the infrastructure, and because of this, the VDI is used to its fullest capacity. The list of benefits is greater than the time we have here. However, the key things to know is higher density, flexibility, and centralized data management, which is a huge issue for a lot of companies. So what are the vGP solutions that are out there and which actual GPUs are enabled? So there are four types of vGP solutions that are based on workload or pain point. For the modern day, modern day worker and heavy density, vPC is the right solution. For container-based deployments, vApps is the correct solution for that. vCompute server or vCS is mainly for compute, HPC, or AI deep learning applications and is very popularly paired with NGC for virtualized compute. Quadro Virtual Data Center Workstation, or VDWS, is the catch-all solution and is mainly focused on ProViz applications, but has options for all other vGPU solutions. We are able to answer any questions and help configure the solution to customers' needs. Um, for the GPU side, all NVIDIA Tesla or Tensor Core D GPUs are enabled, plus the Quadro RTX 6000 and RTX 8000 active and passive cards are enabled. With these cards, a hypervisor and vGPU software, they are able to run the GPU accelerated VDI environment. Well, that's some great technology. Brandon, can you tell us about what are the supermicro systems that are running vGPU? Well, Alan, uh, we have a couple very exciting 2U offerings. Um, starting with this here, the uh, 2U Max IO uh, 2029P-TXRT server. Uh, this is a dual processor server. Uh, it also has 16 memory slots, so it supports up to 4 terabytes of memory, and it also features 11 PCIe expansion slots. Uh, this is a great kind of scale-up vGPU solution because it's capable of supporting up to 10 NVIDIA T4 GPUs. Uh, we also have our 2U Ultra uh, 2029U and 6029U servers. Uh, those are also dual processor servers. Uh, they feature 24 memory slots supporting up to six terabytes of memory, uh, and they also support up to four uh, Quadro RTX 6000 GPUs, uh, which makes for a very uh, great Quadro VDWS solution for graphic intensive workloads. Oh, thanks, Artie and Brandon. So now Yen Wei Hong, our product manager, is gonna give a demo of our VPU solution. Hi, I'm Yen Wei. So now is the demo time, okay? So I've already set up a system in our lab. It's a 2029U E1 CRT model ultra server. I put four RTX 6000 GPU in the box. Okay, so this is a really amazing demo I wanna show you. So I've created two different type of VMs on the box. One is with the GP, virtual GPU resource and the other one is without the virtual GPU resource. Okay, let's take a look at demo. Okay, there are two screens right here. On the left side is the 
a VM without any GPU resource. And on the right side, you can see we have the RTX 6000 GPU. So let's run the Pathmark demo, DirectX 11, 3D Mark. OK, so as you can see, on the left side, without any GPU resource, we only see around like one frame per second on the benchmark. And on the right side, with the uh, virtual GPU resource, we have like uh, 230 frame per second result, OK? So now I want to show you a little bit more about the feature of the RTX 6000, which is the ray tracing feature. So we are running a 3D mark, which has the benchmark of the ray tracing. OK, let's go to the benchmark tab right now and then run. Run. OK, now it's loading a very heavy uh, 3D graphic. OK, as you can see with the RTX 6000, the ray tracing feature, you can see all the lightings and details in this graphic. And then we can also get around 35 to 40 frames per second. OK, so this is a very Im amazing result. A as you can see, we got like 8,000 uh, scores and then around 35 to 40 frames per second. So this is a very amazing result for a single virtual machine, OK? So if you want to know more about the virtual GPU and then the VDI solutions, please go to the website on uh, Supermicro.